got you loud and clear, how me? Go ahead, Ohio. Wow, you should be getting it just about now. Hi, everyone. Go ahead, Ohio. Justin, we use electricity from the solar arrays for normal stuff. If we want to fire our engines, we use something that's similar to shuttle fuel, and that's uh, monomethyl hydroxide. Over. Wow. Yeah, Favorite thing about being an astronaut, Jesse, is being able to talk to great students like you guys. Over. We've got the DK-2 in elite motion. And we are we use uh, an oxygen generator and a thing in the Russian segment called they take water and split it into hydrogen and oxygen. If those systems break, we have a backup set of chemical candles that we can light, and those burn, and they give off oxygen. And the third choice is we have progress vehicles attached to the station, and they have oxygen tanks that we can just empty oxygen into the station if we need to. Over. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely, Colin, and uh, you guys will probably be the ones to do it. Over. So, yes, we've got the Leap Motion, the Oculus Rift, DK2, so and an cool Xbox controller. On that one. Uh, I don't think I'll ever go to Mars, uh, but you might go. So, yes, let's have a little look about and see what we're actually meant to be doing. So I actually own the ISS. I sleep on uh, standing up, kind of, in a sleeping bag, and it's a it's a lot different. Or for whenever I want it, I own. The yep, ISS. Uh, we were there for the computers that failed, and uh, the Russian guys fixed it great, and I didn't help very much on that. I did a little bit of work in the American segment to disconnect some electrical connectors. Over. Uh, let me hear yours. So zero G is uh, new to me. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'm working with two Russians, and we speak a combination of Russian and English, although the international language of the station is uh, designated to be English. Over. Uh, excuse me while I mess about with this. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're aboard the ISS. I think uh, being away from my family is the, well, my the most, uh, the thing that surprised me the most. It's, it's pretty difficult for me, Dominic. Over. Computer. Wow. Andrew, my favorite class is a science class, and my favorite teacher was named Mrs. Alice Rakes, and I had her in seventh and eighth grade. Over. Zeb, uh, that's a great yeah, question. I love being in zero gravity and think of yourself as Superman. You can fly anywhere you want. It's just the faster you fly, the harder it is to stop. Over. Superman. <laughs> Zach, I was about uh, eight years old and I watched the astronauts on Apollo 8 go around the backside of the moon for the first time and that's when I decided I wanted to be an astronaut. Over. Wow. This is beautiful. Great question, Mark. It was having to go to Russia and come back to Houston and go to Canada and spend oh. months away from my family, and, and I traveled a lot. I didn't really like that part very much, so that was the hardest for me. Over. So, yes, don't look dying. <laughs> uh, Nathan, we uh, eat lots of different food, Russian and American. We eat meat and potatoes and uh, vegetables and lots of good desserts like M&Ms. Over. So yes, this is the cupola. Yeah, we keep from falling to the ground because we're going fast enough that we just maintain a balance of our speed versus the Earth's gravity. If you took a yo-yo and started to spin it around a big circle, imagine the string is gravity, and then the yo-yo, if you keep it at a fast enough speed, it keeps the string perfectly tight. Over. So I'm looking straight down, that's why that's doing that. We can't go to the doctor, but we have Oleg Whoa. Kotov, who's a doctor, and he's on board, and he's trained to teach or to take care of us with little small things. If it's bad enough, we have to come home. Over. Look at this. This guy that's doing it is a very good ground station. Did you hear that? 
I've been here, Justin, uh, about uh, two months, and I've got uh, three more months to go, and it's a pretty cool place. Over. Wow. It's hard for me. I have a lovely wife and two kids, and I miss them a lot, but we get to talk to them every day on a telephone if we want to, and we have email, and we have video conferences once a week. Over. Okay, so here's Earth. Absolutely, Corey. <laughs> when uh, electronic particles from the sun and uh, in the out in space go through our, some of our equipment, it causes uh, some of the bits they call them to flip, and so that can crash a whole computer all by itself. Over. Wow. I have email, and I can talk to my family on a phone uh, almost every day. And we also have video comic where I can see them and talk to them over. It's a great adventure. It's great to see the beautiful earth below and to float around in zero G and, and just have a great time. It's a wonderful place to be over. Wow. Look at this. Get my head out of They're the window. pretty much the same, Robert. They just have to be a little stronger. They have to have a bigger battery, for example, or they have to have a harder shell to protect them from the hot and cold of outer space. Over. Uh, how we train for spacewalks is uh, we train in the big swimming pool in Houston. We go underwater and we're neutrally buoyant, so we don't float and we don't sink, and we do our training just like we do in space. Over. I haven't had much free time yet, but when I do, I like to talk to my family, and I like to catch up on my emails, but we also have an electronic keyboard I like to play, and uh, I like to read books. Over. Yes, we've got the... Uh, Let's try going, going, going back to the primary channel real quick if we can. Is that possible? Wow, we can make the dark and light here. I'm sorry, with all the satellites and all that, how do you keep from hitting them? They track them on the ground, and if we have to, we reboost the station's orbit, make it higher to miss stuff over. Yeah, we can make it dark. We <laughs> just made it dark. Oh my goodness. Have a look. <gasps> Great talking to you. Anyone SS out? Thanks. Holy caramba. Oh. Whiskey my. one sugar tango tango. Oh. Whiskey one sugar tango tango. Ah, very good. Uh, my name is Rich. Location is New Hampshire. Over. Thank you. I've been listening, and uh, it was really um, very good uh, classroom experience for uh, for everyone. Over. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thanks for uh, participating with the station. Over. Whiskey Fox One Fox Boston. Uh, can I have your name? Over. Whiskey One Fox One Boston. Uh, does anyone? Yeah, hello, Clayton. You did a great job. We could hear you uh, wall to wall the whole time. Wow. 73 is yes, and good luck. I've got you loud and clear. How me? Go blast. ahead, Ohio. Uh, we should be getting it just about now. <laughs> Justin, we use electricity from the solar arrays for normal stuff. If we want to fire our engines, we use something that's similar to shuttle fuel, and that's uh, monomethyl hydroxide. Over. The favorite thing about being an astronaut, Jesse, is being able to talk to great students like you guys. Over. Ireland, maybe loving Ireland.
all over your island. We all use uh, an oxygen generator <laughs> and a thing in the Russian segment called they take water and put it into hydrogen and oxygen. Peace. If those systems break, we have a backup set of chemical <laughs> candles that we can light, and those burn and they give Sorry. off oxygen. And the third choice is we have progress vehicles attached to the station, and they have oxygen tanks that we can just empty oxygen into the station if we need to. Over. Wow. This really is... I just intend to do it. We should Absolutely, yeah, Colin, the, and uh, the, you guys will probably the, be the ones to do it. Over. Oh, my goodness. The Earth is actually moving. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I'll ever go to Mars, uh, but you might go. Wow. <clears throat> so, yeah, hopefully you can get the checklist out, because, uh... I sleep on, uh, standing up, kind of, in a sleeping bag, and it's a, it's a lot different. If you ever want yep, to go... Yep, uh, we were there space. for the computers that failed, and uh, the Russian like guy fixed the it Earth. great, and I didn't help very much on that. I did a little bit of work in the American segment to disconnect some electrical connectors. Over. There's England. England. The Jedi named UK Rifter lives there in England. Right now, I'm working with two <laughs> Russians, and we speak a combination of wow. Russian and English, although the international language of the station is uh, designated to be Italy? English, over. Oh, whoa. It's just all laid out. And the thing is... Oh. That I can make it... Uh, I think uh, I'm being away from my family is the, the most... Uh, the thing that surprised me the most. It's, it's pretty difficult for me, Dominic. Over. So, Andrew, my favorite class is a science class, and my favorite teacher was named Mrs. Alice Rakes, and I had her in 7th and 8th grade, over. I probably played this way too long. Zeb, uh, that's a great question. I love being in zero gravity, and think of yourself as Superman. You can fly anywhere you want. It's just the faster uh, you fly, the harder it is to stop, over. Superman. Super VR man. Zach, I was about uh, eight years old, and I watched the astronauts and Apollo 8 go around the backside of the moon for the first time, and that's when I decided I wanted to be an astronaut. Over. Great question, Mark. It was having to go to Russia and come back to Houston and go to Canada and spend months away from my family, and, and I traveled a lot. I didn't really like that part very much, so that was the hardest for me. Over. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, uh, Nathan, watching we uh, eat lots of different food, Russian and American. We Bye. eat meat and potatoes and uh, vegetables we do. and lots of good desserts like M&M's. Peace. 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 Oh. Okay. He's we keep from falling to the ground because beautiful. we're going fast beautiful enough planet. that we Love just maintain a balance of our speed uh, versus the Earth's gravity. Time. Yo -yo and started to spin it around a big circle. Imagine the